Public speaking, the bane of everyone's existence. Some people don't want to do it, some people shouldn't do it, some people don't need to do it because of their jobs. But for others, and most, it's an important part of their professional development and we must learn a few key things. I do it all the time, whether I'm speaking to clients, speaking to a boardroom, speaking here, speaking in front of staff, happens all the time. And I've had experience doing it from numbers of one to one up to, to the hundreds. And the one thing that I've learned with public speaking is to be as authentic as possible. The people that kind of get up there and unfortunately just read off the piece of paper, shaky and hide behind it, or they don't sound like they're themselves or they don't sound comfortable, it's because they're not speaking from a place of authenticity. When you speak from a place of authenticity, people will begin to believe what you're saying. And that's the most important thing when you're trying to captivate somebody's attention is if they believe in what you're saying. I might be the most boring person to actually listen to, but if I am speaking from a place of authenticity, at least you're going to believe me. And that's kind of what I want in essence. I want you to believe what I'm saying. Now the next step is turning it up. And this is where I kind of have a little bit of fun of it. If you can be authentic and be your true self when you're delivering a speech, whether it be something pre-planned, whether it be something off the cuff, whether it be something ad-libbed. If you're delivering with authenticity and you're comfortable with that, try having a little bit of fun with it. Turn up your mannerisms, turn up your behaviors, turn up who you are, and really try to put a bit of flair or a bit of extra oomph into what you're delivering. If you're a heavily articulate person and that's your flair and that's your authenticity and that's your flavor, turn that up a bit. If you're quite flamboyant and you've got a bit of spark, turn that up a little bit. If you like to use your hands a lot, turn that up a little bit. Turn up what you're doing, that will increase the engagement. You've already got the authenticity and then now you can deliver with a lot more confidence. The final thing that people struggle with with public speaking is the whole nerves of it. Now, I'm not gonna get into the preparation of public speaking, but the biggest thing that I've learned is once it's time to go, and I'm five minutes from stepping up, two minutes from stepping up, one minute from stepping up. I don't want to dwell on what I haven't done. I want to dwell on what I have done. And I want to remind myself the work that I've put in, the preparation that I've put in, the reason why I'm doing it. I want to take a few deep breaths and then I want to deliver what I can deliver because I've only done what I've done to prepare and I can't do any more at that moment. So why bother dwelling on the, the 12 months that I had to prepare or the two weeks that I had to prepare? Why bother dwelling? Why brother filling myself with such negative thoughts? What's done is done and all I can do is focus on the preparation that I've put into that public speaking event and then deliver that public speech with authenticity and deliver that public speech with my personality turned up a little bit to get that extra engagement.